Hello again, John with you again, and it's time now for build update number two on the uh, M1, M10 uh, 2C Achilles. Um, in part one, we got the hull done, got the uh, interior painted, uh, tracks on, everything done, lower half painted, uh, lower half of the hull that is painted, instead of the upper half to, to get done, which I'm going to leave until the, the, you know, the, the painting for a finish. Uh, so now we're on to the turret section. Okay, so we start off the turret section with that building up the breach. Um, I'll, bring up the instruction. I'll, I'll, I'll move the camera down. I'll move the camera down. Much easier, isn't it? Right, so here we are down anyway. And we start off with well, step number 22. We're on the breach. Okay. This is the uh, gun bridge one as they're calling it. Okay, there's a couple of parts there to go together. Then we're up, we're adding all the rest of the uh, the breach parts. Okay, a couple of sections there all adding up onto the breach. Alright, I mean, we, we basically have the, the breach made at that stage then. Okay, then we're up onto the in interior of the turret itself. Now I'm going to leave all these little pieces off uh, until after, until I get them, you know, I'll paint them all separately, it's so much easier. I'll paint them all separately and add them on. Um, well anything that has to be, say, detail painted, you know, these boxes here, they can go in. All right, because they're going to be the green color for the inside, but there are other parts that need to be um, need to be painted separately, and they can go in separately. Then, okay. So anything that's going to be that can just need to be painted will go in afterwards. You know, like the guns, a couple of other little bits and pieces, but lots of it can go to go in there. Okay, we can still fit lots of it in there. All right. So we're under the turret then. And then we have the other side, and it's basically the same. So hey, same idea, just all the internal pieces. Like I said, we're going to leave most of them off and paint them on afterwards. Mostly would be, say, the guns, uh, the shells, and any bits of storage. Everything else can go in. Um, sort of now, really, you know, as we're building it. So then we've got the. Uh, the turret all built off and we're going to get as far as that, step number 28, where we have the turret as good as finished, right, and then we'll have a look at that and see what that looks like, okay. So I'm going to get up as far as step 28, then we'll see what all that looks like, um, give it a quick discussion, see if there's any parts that uh, caused any problems, um, hopefully we didn't have any problems with it and uh, we'll see what all that looks like. Okay, so I'll get stuck in, get that done, and get back to you when we're up as far as step 28. Okay now, getting back onto where we left you off. Um, <coughs> we started on this here, the uh, gun breech. Now I have uh, the gun breech all made up. Okay, with all the little components added into it. Right, as you can see from the uh, the ticked off pieces. Everything just fitted in so beautifully. It was it was um it was a pleasure to build it really really was. Um, all these pieces just located in perfectly there was nothing fiddly about it. Um, it just it just fitted in absolutely lovely and it came up with a beautiful little gun breech. I'll show you now in a second when we go have a look at it. Um, then I went into say the interior of the turret itself. Um, anything that's marked in the orange means that I'm going to add it on later because it needs separate painting. Um, basically, it's the shells, interior storage, and machine gun. Okay, but everything else is fitted in. <coughs> um, the racks, boxes, seats, and all that. There's also a little poly cap in here for the uh, the elevation and uh, thing for the gun, um, and the dry, the commander and loader seat. 
they're all in place as well. Right. We went over here to this section here, uh, which is the other side of the turret. Same idea again, there's a couple of other little bits and pieces to be fitted in, um, fire extinguishers, some other holders. Uh, I presume that's the turning mechanism for the turret and things like that. Um, same again here with a poly cap holders for the uh, for the big rounds and again they're marked in orange because they're not fitting them yet okay the uh, seat folded up um, that's the probably the turning mechanism for the turret then we put the turret together okay just add put in the two sides making sure that the, uh, the gun itself wasn't glued and then this little cover piece here right so we end up then with this okay and when that settles down you can see all the little parts inside there so it's going to be easy enough to get painted um, our gun bridge our gun should I say it, well the shooty thing goes up and down right uh, if you have a look underneath there, the engineering in that is absolutely beautiful, it really, really is. Um, you can have the breach open or closed, I decided just to have it closed. I don't know why, just, it was a case of A or B and I went for B, so it's closed. Um, the rest of the detail inside there is absolutely gorgeous, right, as you can see there. Right. And there's our racks then for the for the, sh the spare shells. So it should paint up actually. Very very nice. Very very nice indeed. So where do we to now? Okay. So we're over now to step 29. Now 29. We've got we're working on the outside of the uh, turret. Okay. We've got these things here, the A9 pieces. All right. Now what they are. From what I can gather, and what I've been, you know, um, what do you call it, research, or just check it out from things. What they are is, they're just holders for um, a canopy, or tarpaulin canopy, just to keep the weather out, and you know, some bit of uh, protection against the elements. It's about as far as it goes, because it won't affect... Uh, protect you against anything else and there are the little holders then that, that hold up the uh, the canopy for that all right so then we've got another little piece here we're gonna make it up here and that fits on the back with a handle then in the middle and it gives you nice places you know gives you nice um, indications to where it's going um, as opposed to say like that, you'd never get really get it from that, but from that picture then you say, ah oh, look, it fits in right on the scene. So that's very, very handy as well. Alright, then we're on to our counterweights, which go at the back of the turret. And we're fitting those counterweights. We're also fitting some handles here and things. We've got um, these pieces here. Again, I do not know what they're what they are. I'd say they're for um, because I don't think they're, they're not the same as the front waists. I'd say they're just straps, basically for holding on the, um, the counterweight. Yeah, they're just straps for holding on the counterweight. All right, then we're on to our uh, shooty thing, our cannon. Um, we've got the mantlet piece there. The gun itself is in uh, one piece, but we've got a two-piece muzzle brake. And we've got that uh, counterweight then on the gun itself. And then for a finish then with the turret we've got to fit our cannon and our mantlet. We've got a couple more handles to fit. And it tells us about fitting the figure, the little wheel here on the inside of the turret that gets fitted. Um, 
we won't be fitting the figure yet because the figure will be coming at a later stage. Positioning of the figures. pieces then that are going on the outside of it. Right, we've got a um, machine gun to get made up. Right, um, we've got that to be fitted. The tore up and the aerial. No, I'm not going to go as far as that just yet. Right, what I do is get as far as there and then we'll have a look at it okay so I'll get as far as step 33 we'll have a look at it we'll see what all that looks like okay so next clip we'll have that much done <coughs> now back again I've just been working away there making the uh, the tore up but before I get I'll show you that um, We've got the turret as good as finished off. Okay, um, we've got all the pieces on that needed to go onto it. We'll have a look at it there. I just popped it on here because there is a little piece that sticks out. You just got to be kind of careful with it. Okay, we've got the little the wheel there. You can see the wheel sticking up. So be careful if you're putting if you make this and you, you're putting it down. Also be careful when you're lifting it up of these pieces here okay there's two of those um, holders for the the tarpaulin as I said the cover uh, canvas cover they kind of stick out a bit and they're only really just after being glued there a little while ago they're, they're, just, they're, they're as good as set but they, they will pop off if you if you snap them off they're very very fragile and you can see them there oh the light I'll just turn my light off on me the funny way again there we go. Mad, isn't it? I can turn the light away from the, the camera for it to see. And there we go. You can see those pieces in there. And you can see all the turret all nicely made up. Okay. Um, and it works. Okay. As in it goes up and down. It doesn't shoot things out. It doesn't work to that extent. But it works as in it's... Uh, It'll, uh, it'll elevate and deviate. <laughs> it'll go up and down. Right, so that's the that's the turret bait. Right, so all we've got left to do, just pop that in there now, so I don't damage the uh, that little wheel. So all that's left to do now is I've got to make the uh, the M2 heavy machine gun, the 50 cal. Right, that's got to be made up. There's some nice little pieces there for it. Which is nice because it's nicely moulded. There's a nice bit of um, it's just it's it's nicely detailed. Okay, let's put it that way. It's nicely detailed as opposed to the old the old Tamiya 50 cal sort of moulded in one piece. Detail was a bit lacking. So we've got that. We got some uh, ammo boxes to make up, and we've got the tore up to put in and the um, the aerial. There's also then loads of um, storage then to go on the outsides, but we're, they'll all be painted separately and they'll all be going on separately. So all we're putting onto the vehicle at the moment is anything that's going to be sort of permanently in place and it's going to be in the green colour, the standard green colour that the vehicle is going to be in. Um, so I'm going to make the tour up up. I've just got the little bit of wire just made up. I'll just show you that now in a sec. Um, I'm going to make the 50 cal. And then we got to attach the tore up and stick on the uh, the aerial. So when that's done, I'll show you all that then when it's all that's ready for painting then at that stage. Um, then it's just a case of getting all your accessories, all the added bits and pieces on, onto pins and things or whatever you use for um, for gluing. All right, for the tore up, it does come with a little bit of string. Okay. But personally, I'm not a lover of the string. Right? I'm not a lover of the string. For one, I think it's too thick. Okay. And two, when you paint it, it goes hairy. If anybody has ever noticed that, it does. It goes flipping hairy on you. So I use this, which is a very, very fine wire. Now, I don't know what gauge this is. 
unfortunately I'm after losing what gauge it is but it is really really fine as you can see right get a couple of strands of that maybe I think I, I, think I did uh, five five loops uh, of that between just between two sticks right and then twist it twist it away so what it does it makes up a nice little cable okay so I did a video on that and it's something that I copied well I wouldn't copy I copied it I, I, I use somebody else's suggestion on how to make it the uh, non-prolific 135th scale model maker Jens he showed us all how to do that and it's nice and it's metal and it, it does a nice job but you do have to sort of prime it though because otherwise the paint will just pop off it right so you get it to whatever length you want all right you can cut it then and stick on your um your end pieces okay your loops and things like that so i'm going to get that done i'm going to get the um the tow rope fitted the aerial and the 50 cal and that's done we'll come back we'll have a look at it and then it's all ready for painting then at that stage so then we're into the painting um there are figures to go onto this kit i will be doing them in a separate video because uh, somebody asked me how i do figures and i decided to do a standalone video on the figures now this is not going to be a tutorial on how to paint figures basically what it is it's uh, showing people how I do the figures because I'm not an artist and for proper figure figure painting you, you, you need really really thin brushes you need to be able to blend and all that I do none of that I just do a kind of pretty basic dirty them up a bit they look grand from you know from a foot from 12 inches away and you look at them they're freaking beautiful well they are because I'm blind as a bat <laughs> which helps but they look good um, and I'm happy with that and then people have asked me how I do them so I'll show you how I do the how, do, how I do the figures and I'll do a sort of total standalone video on how I make them fill them position them and everything else so we'll get that done then as a separate video <coughs> excuse me so I'll go ahead now and I'll get the uh, the tour up done for that and uh, make the 50 cal get them fitted and we'll see what all that looks like okay right so I'm after getting the turret all finished off there she is and yes I have added the outside storage the reason for that is I can paint that easy because it's on the outside I can get that painted easy enough um, the inside storage I have it all here on little sticks okay there's one of the shells there's one of the uh, little machine guns that's got to go into it there's the uh, sterling machine gun and there's the internal <coughs> um, tarps okay they are they're all for the inside of it and I've got the 50 cal made and there's the 50 cal oh it's absolutely gorgeous it really is if you can see that molding in that is absolutely fabulous um it was a couple of pieces to put together as opposed to say just all one piece the, the old tamiya ones were all one piece and they were they were they were wah, they weren't great they weren't great at all whereas these ones now they're much much nicer okay that should paint up absolutely beautiful okay there's about five or six pieces there in that in the making of that and it came up very very nice very very nice indeed so <coughs> there's our 50 cal and like i said the inside of the turret is all now finished off and everything else so we got the uh the parts there to go in once they're painted separately everything else is going to be say the normal color part the uh the bit of outside storage and like i said it's easy enough to do that afterwards than you know paint it when it's on the model it's just as easy as painting them in separates and then trying to stick them on so it's just as easy to do it that way uh so that's really about it um i've got it all ready for painting now as you can see i've got the uh 
my masked off section here. Um, I will add another bit of masking on that there. I should have thought of trying to get it in there beforehand. But I'll just stuff a bit of paper in there. That'll do the job. As long as paint doesn't sort of spill into the inside of it there, that's all I want. Um, so, that's it for this uh, update. Update number two. Um, in update number three, we'll get the painting done. Okay, so, thanks very much for taking your time out to, you know, to watch these videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, I love the comments. Any comments you have, stick them in the box below. I do read them all. I don't, mightn't, mightn't answer them all, but I do read them all. Um, anybody that's asked me any, uh, well, anybody that's asked me any questions, I do answer them all right like that. But uh, apart from that, sure. What else is there to say? Um, I'll get stuck in with the painting of this. So in the next video, we'll uh, we'll get it all painted up, and uh, like I said, we get the interior painted up, and we'll get it all finished off. Um, factory fresh, yes, factory fresh. We won't go heavy weathering. I will be doing a reasonably heavy weathering in this. Um, I haven't fully decided how I'm going to weather it yet, but uh, I have ideas. I have ideas. We'll see how they work out. So that's it for this video. Like I said, lads, uh, thank you very much for taking your time out to to watch it, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. And don't forget to join myself and Abs on a Monday for uh, another bum bench update monday so until then lads take it easy enjoy your modeling and uh, go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it john signing off i'll catch you on the next one stay safe